This tutorial will guide you through the basic features and functions. If you'd like to know more about advanced integration and interoperability options, have a look at our training program. Go to our website, navigate to Education, Workshops, and check out the DNB System Integration Workshop. It's free of charge and we are looking forward to meeting you there. In a DNB system, our system amplifiers are the heart and brain of everything and a crucial part of our workflow. They provide proprietary processing and protection for all of our loudspeakers to ensure the consistency and reliability that our systems are known for. Therefore, using them is mandatory. Also, and in addition to the proprietary system processing, they offer user-adjustable EQ, delay and further loudspeaker-specific options to provide all the tools a system engineer needs. But, first of all, let's have a look at the external features and controls. At the rear, each amplifier has six XLR inputs with daisy chain connectors. Four of them accept analog signals, and two of them accept digital audio in AES3 format. You'll also find two Ethercon connectors for remote control and Milan audio over Ethernet. For each of the four amplifier channels, there are individual NL4 output connectors. This allows you to use all channels independently. For two-way active applications, there are two more connectors that combine the output of a pair of channels. And for the use with loudspeaker multicores, there is a central NL8 connector that carries the output of all four channels at once. All output connectors are operational all the time. For mains power, there is a PowerCon True 1 or a PowerCon 32 amps connector on the rear left side, depending on the model of amplifier. On the bottom right of the front panel, you will find the power switch. The user interface is on the left. It consists of a color touchscreen and a rotary push encoder. Let's have a closer look at the GUI and how to use it. This is the home screen. It shows the most relevant information about the amplifier at one glance. The device name, remote information, the power status, the configurations of the four amplifier channels, levels, and mute status. The graphical items are controls that you can directly operate by tapping, such as this mute button. Numerical controls use the touch screen in combination with the encoder. For example, tap the level field to select and turn the encoder to adjust. And finally, there are also navigation buttons that take you to a different page of the menu. But wherever you are, the home button brings you back here. You can also replace all touch actions with the encoder. Operate the encoder to highlight the desired control. Click to tap. You can also click to select and click again to deselect. For some operations, you might want to quickly navigate between channels. This is easy to do. Let's say you're adjusting channel-specific controls that are not present on the home screen. For example, the delay time for channel A. And now, we want to do the same thing for channel B. To get to the same control on another channel, just tap this channel on the sidebar. Within the menu structure of a channel, there is always a back button that returns you to the previous page. Let's say you are stuck in the EQ controls, here's how to get back. And, of course, the home screen is always only one tap away.